What's up guys, welcome back to another speed paint video and today we're doing another uh, project for school. I'm going to school to be a graphic designer so I think I'm going to start doing this a little more often. Um, just show you guys what I'm working on. Maybe you want to get into school for graphic design yourself. This might give you a little glimpse at what it's like to be an art student. Uh, but what we got here, the uh, assignment was to make a one panel cartoon, uh, eight and a half by 11 for New Yorker uh, magazine. And I decided to do two guys on a cliff and this guy is gonna try to fly with these, this pair of wooden wings. And the other guy's filming, on his, filming him on his phone. Um, a commentary on social media, viral videos, maybe? I don't know, I just think it's kind of funny and so yeah, and uh, so looking into this project, I looked at a lot of uh, New Yorker cartoons, and most of them style-wise, uh, not a lot of line weight variation, really simple, really loose. Uh, they kind of look like the guys from the Red Bull commercials, so I don't know if they uh, they were borrowing from that, Red Bull was. So yeah, I just tried to keep that aesthetic while at the same time uh, adding my own personal style to it. I'm pretty happy with the results and here we're just coming in and some of the final line work here uh, yeah the trick was just to try to keep it as simple as possible I mean it's really easy to, on anything to go overboard with the line work uh, with texture and such but uh, here we're coming in on the cliff face and that one was pretty tough to uh, keep simple like see here I'm adding all these lines I end up going in and taking most of them out and uh, yeah, so really it was just to find that balance on when was too much and how to incorporate my style into one that fits with the New Yorker style, you know? Make it look like it belongs, essentially. And here I'm playing around with the horizon line because I knew I had to add one in somehow because there's all this white space here that you got to take advantage of. And... Uh, I decided to just add a gradient in, and here I'm just messing around with certain kinds of uh, gradients. And with all these uh, cartoons as well, uh, they don't really have any color, and if it is, it's like really small, like in the hair or something, but they're all grayscale. And that too is even uh, pretty loose. They don't, they don't keep it very tight, so. Uh, here I'm just messing around with what to do, and I got pretty stumped on this gradient part. I think I abandoned it for a minute and come back to it later. But uh, yeah, I think that's essentially what it looks like here at the end, minus the uh, gray on the characters. And uh, now we're going to go in, forgot to add the harnesses, and how is he going to fly if the wings aren't attached to him, you know? But uh, yeah, just adding simple uh, shadow to give it that depth, but not fully rendering it. Uh, I think I used about two, two shades of gray, maybe three, 50 shades of gray? No, probably edit that out, that was dumb. But it's my favorite movie, so what are you going to do? Um, so yeah, here we're coming in on the second guy here, the snooty guy with the big old nose. They all got big noses too, I, I noticed. So, Just, you know, when you're trying to uh, emulate something, there's I feel like there's always like two or three things you can do that will give it that look that, you're, that you need. So you just really got to look at uh, references, man. References, yeah, references, uh, looking up references something I was uh, never really good at keeping up with. Uh, I tend to just try to jump in and draw it. But uh, lately I've been using references quite a bit and it does help out a lot, especially when you get stumped on something. But uh, here we're coming in and adding some shadow on the rocks. This part was probably the most time consuming for me uh, because I want to make it look natural, but not too much. Uh, stuff going on you know to take away from the characters and see here I'm adding a little bit more texture with I think helps it in the end but you know it's just I'm like saying it over and over but you just gotta watch out for that um, and now I'm coming back in with the gradient uh, I think I go with a lighter one because the characters do kind of get lost the the background gray matches the uh, same shade as the cliff they're standing on so yeah here I make it a little lighter 
So yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, thanks for watching it. Let me know some good captions you would give to this cartoon, because that wasn't required and I didn't do it. But uh, yeah, check out some other videos. Uh, thanks for watching.